This is going to be a very quick and short video of how to stream on Twitch using Streamlabs desktop. If you do want to follow along, go ahead and download Streamlabs desktop using the link in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do whenever you do open up Streamlabs desktop is come down to the bottom left and click this little profile icon and you want to go ahead and log into your Twitch. Once you log into your Twitch, it's already connected and now you're going to have access to all of the features like alerts and things like that and you will be able to go live directly from Streamlabs. So that's already taken care of. The next thing we want to do is add a source. So for instance, let's say we're streaming a game. We're going to go ahead and just click the plus icon here and we just want to add a game capture source. We're going to click add source. You can name it whatever you like, add source, and then you can leave it on auto. As you can see, it's looking for a game to capture. I don't currently have one open, but if I did open a game, it would start to capture that one. If you don't, don't want it to automatically select them, you can do capture specific window and then select the specific one that you want to capture, but we're just gonna leave it on auto for the moment. The next thing you wanna do is check your audio setup. So let's just go ahead and open our settings and go to audio. This is where you're going to want to check your desktop audio device. And you can probably leave this on default in most settings. I have a very complicated uh, audio setup on this computer, so just don't mind all this other stuff. Um, but basically your desktop audio device is gonna be your headphones or your speakers. Um, I'd say for most people, it's gonna be your speakers. So default should work in most cases. And this is basically the audio that your game is gonna come through. Um, basically anything, any sound that's coming through your computer that you're hearing, the stream is gonna hear it through this track. And then your microphone device, you wanna make sure this is set to uh, whatever your microphone is. In my case, it would be this Focusrite USB audio right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select that. And that's it for the audio setup. It's really simple. And while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and go to the output section and make sure we have this set up properly. So we're gonna go ahead to the output mode, change this to advanced. And we're gonna make sure our encoder is on NVENC new. That's gonna be the best one for NVIDIA graphics cards. CBR we want on, um, or rate control rather, we want on CBR with a bit rate at 6,000. This is the best for streaming at 1080p 60 FPS, which is kind of like the standard good quality stream. Keyframe interval, you can leave this on zero, which will automatically set it. Preset, you wanna leave this on quality in most cases. It'll give you the best performance for quality trade-off. And everything else here you can leave on default. And next tab we're gonna to go to is our video tab. And here we're just gonna make sure our base canvas resolution is set to our monitors resolution. Our output scaled resolution is gonna be what we are streaming at, which in this case is gonna be 1920 by 1080. And for the downscale filter, this doesn't affect quality too much, but Lanxos is technically the best. So we'll just go ahead and change that because why not? Um, then for your FPS, again, excuse me, if you do want your FPS to be 60, you need to change this to 60 not 30, so make sure you do do that or you will not be in 60 FPS. And from there, we're gonna click done and that's really all the settings. Now let's say you wanna add a webcam, you can just simply click the plus and go to video capture device, click add source and then name it whatever you want. And then it will show up here if you do have one plugged in, I currently do not, but it will show up there and then you have some webcam settings here like resolution and things like that. Um, but that's how you can then add a webcam. If you would like to add alerts to your stream, you can go ahead and click the pluses on the source again. And there's a lot of other things you can do here as well under the widgets once you are logged in with Twitch. But for the alert box, you're just gonna click the alert box up here on the essential sources, click add source, add source. And then you're gonna have a bunch of options to customize them as well. But we're gonna click done. And then you can drag it around here. You can't actually see right now because there's no alerts up, but you can see the little window where it would be. So we're just gonna center it pretty much right there. Once you have all your sources added, just make sure that they are layered properly. So for instance, we want our game capture on the bottom so that it is kind of like the background of everything. And then we want our webcam on top of that. And then on top of all of that, you probably want your alerts so that they're not hidden like behind the game or something like that. There's more advanced settings you can get into, but pretty much once you have all this set up, you're ready to click go live and you will go live on Twitch using all of these things you have set up. That's just a really quick tutorial on how to stream on Twitch using Streamlabs Desktop. Again, if you need to download Streamlabs Desktop, I'll leave a link in the description so you can quickly download that. That's it for this video. Hope this helped. See you guys next time.